three, two, one. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be playing Kickle Cubicle for the NES. Let us begin. I am playing this off my RetroBit Generations plug and play console, and um, you know, it, um, the, the console itself is not all that great, but it does have a couple of hidden gems from for myself at least like this game here like this game I remember playing this game I haven't thought of this game since I played it I think I must have been eight years old or something and I only played this once when I was a kid and I remember playing it fondly because I wanted to buy this game but the thing is when you with Nintendo games uh, with games in general if you don't buy them right away and they sell out then they're very hard to find because I don't know how how I don't know if about second runs with a lot of games but I don't think uh, obscure titles like this one got second runs in production wise so like um, a lot of times though uh, with a lot of games you wanted to play you'd had to borrow off somebody you knew had it or rent it off a store but yeah like it was uh, it kind of sucked that way cuz there were i don't i can't recall any used video game shops back back then in the early 90s the beautiful fantasy kingdom is now under the rule of the wizard king all right a head of corn is talking to me the ravishing palaces were hidden and these islands were made to confine us. Don't ask me how I know he what he says, because, well, actually, this is take three of my video, and uh, I just kind of was stumbling over my words for the first couple of videos there. Sometimes it takes a video or two to, for me to get into the headspace of, um, you know, train of thought thing. Kickle, please get back to the palaces, get back to the palaces and revive the fantasy kingdom. All right? Will do, talking to corn. Okay, so we are on level three now. Let's see here. Okay, so there's some ice cream sandwiches. Well, those are not sandwiches. What are they? They are popsicles or something? Creamsicles. I don't know what they... Oh, better get out of here. And these freeze up everybody. Okay. Put a hockey up. Oh, put a hockey puck here. Bring another one here. There we go. And we can end this this level anytime we want. Might as well do it now. Goodbye. And I saved the green peppers. Nice. You know he's. You know Kickle is. Uh, or yeah, Kickle is like a. He's like a cold little snowman guy, but yet he's wearing earmuffs for some reason. Maybe those are headphones, I don't know. Oh. Let's get out of here. So yeah, like a, a game, this game, uh, didn't really hear much about this game when I was growing up. I mean, like, it wasn't a, deemed a classic, and um, a lot of... Uh, I don't know. The only t time I ever played this is when I rented it uh, from, um, I don't know if it was, I think it was called Jumbo Video. It might have been. But uh, that was the only time I ever played this game. And then the second time I ever played this game is when I got my, when I brought this plug and play console. And then when I saw the picture of it on the menu screen where you choose the games, I immediately thought like, wait, this looks familiar. So I booted up and I started playing it and all these memories just came flooding back to me. It's like, yes, I do remember this game. I only played this once as a kid. So that was a pretty nice little stroll down memory lane there. Oh, let's get rid of this guy here. Goodbye. And I saved the pumpkins. Okay, so I can't recall. I think this... Um, I think there are boss levels after you beat the last level in each land. I'm not too sure. I think there are four lands. It'd be nice if there were eight. Kind of like uh, Super Mario Brothers. 
I gotta, I gotta do, a, I gotta play through this game here. This just, I just wanna, I, I feel like I wanna play through this, but uh, I'm not gonna get around to it right away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That cool chicken likes to kick around ice just like, just like what I do. Get out of here. Cool chicken. He's the hip wearing, shade wearing chicken. Whoa. Okay. Let's end this. Alright. So, I don't know. Are those potatoes or are they yams? Can't tell. Could be anything with 8 bit graphics. You could just say it's like, you know, whatever. You know, I just noticed that um, each uh, each level kind of uh, makes a kind of makes a picture. Like this looks like a bear with wearing uh, this look this looks like a bear wearing well, what do you call it? Oh, I don't know. It looks like a bear wearing uh, a sleeping cap or something. Oh, he blows it out. So he's got a cold breath. Okay, let's get that over there. Bring that back this way. And we win. Okay, so those are onions, I believe. But yeah, um... You know, there's a lot of NES games I played uh, when I was a kid. I just don't... can't recall most of them. I know there was a uh, snake rattle and roll, and that was made by Rare. Yeah, Rare. It's on the what do you call it? Uh, Rare Replay collection. Has a whole bunch of Rare games on there. Some N64 games like Banjo Kazooie. I should play Banjo Kazooie, but I, I, I never really played Banjo because um, I don't know. I just you know, there's a lot of games that. Uh, I played, but I didn't own, so if I didn't own it, I didn't really try to borrow them, because I was, I don't know, unless I really, really liked it, that's when I would borrow a game, like, I borrowed games off my older cousin who had Final Fantasy 3 and Chrono Trigger, those were awesome games, and then they eventually got stolen. That's what happens a lot, uh, that happened a lot back in, back in the cartridge days. Especially like with the other kids, like, uh, oh. okay, I guess I can't make, uh, blocks there. Okay, so how do I do this? Okay, um, oh. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, so it looks like I'm gonna have to play a little bit, a little bit different here. Okay, there we go. Get these guys back over here. All right, let's put this right here. Let's get this guy out of here. Kick that there. There we go, and we win. We got it. What are those cucumbers? Yeah. <clears throat> I lost my train of thought again. I was gonna say something. I was gonna talk about something, and now I forgot it. Oh well. I guess it was never meant to be. Whoa, this chicken's helping me get out of here. Too bad I have to kill him. I make a horrible friend as Kickle Cubicle. Well, I Kickle his, is his name, I guess. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out... I'll freeze that guy there. And... There we go. Just gotta use our noggin a little bit to beat some of these levels. So far, so good. You know, as uh, as simple as this game looks, it's pretty fun. I I th I'm having fun. I I like this game. If I whenever and if I ever uh, start my NES collection, I am gonna f locate a copy of Kickle Cubicle and I will definitely put it on my to buy list there. All right. 
Well, it looks like we are pretty much out of time, so this was today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it, and I did enjoy making it today. And uh, we will catch you tomorrow with a different video. So until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.